Let you go this afternoon amid this year's open enrollment season for health benefits, including the opening of the Affordable Care Act ACA Marketplace. It's a great time to take stock of your current health status as well as your coverage needs. Our own Damon Arnold learning more in today's For Your Information. Yeah, Claire, regardless of where you get your health benefits, it's important to understand your plan options and how to make informed care decisions. Here to discuss is Dr. Ravi Johar. He's the Chief Medical Officer for United Healthcare of Missouri. So let's just jump right in. One good afternoon to you. Good to be with you. Yes, always. Okay, so what exactly is open enrollment and when and how should people sign up for health insurance for the 2025 year? Open enrollment is the time period every year where people can sign up for their insurance for the following year. If you've watched TV at all, you know that Medicare enrollment is going on right now. You see lots of ads. That actually started about a month ago and it goes until December 7th. If you are on commercial insurance, it's going to be about a two-week period um, somewhere between October and December. Each company is going to be different for that. And if you're on the healthcare exchange, that started November 1st and it'll go till January 15th. But if you want insurance coverage to start the first of the year, you need to sign up by December 15th. Got it. Okay, so what might be new this year that people should be looking out during open enrollment? One thing that's really neat is something called copay forward programs. Um, those are ones that make insurance simple, if you will. They get rid of deductibles and uh, cost share and things of that sort. Uh, United Healthcare has one called Surest. That's what I'm on, and I absolutely love it. Um, I know before I go to the doctor, go to the hospital, exactly what it's going to cost me, and I can plan. I can use it to decide what I want to do. And in fact, it's been shown that this plan sh saves people about 54% out-of-pocket expenses. Okay, well do you have any final tips that people should consider while they're going through this process? Well, one thing that's I think important is to not just focus on your medical coverage. That's really important, but you also want to focus on dental health, uh, dental vision, uh, things of that sort that aren't covered by all plans. If you're on traditional Medicare, that doesn't cover dental, but most and uh, many Medicare Advantage plans will. Doc, thank you so much for being here. We love to see you in person. All right, if you need more information, I want you to take a look at your screen there. Have all that information. You can visit UHCOpenEnrollment.com for more tips and resources as well as information on plans in your area. Again, check that out online. This has been your FYI for your information.